Hey everybody, Rick Badalini here with Yellowbird Fishing Products. Today we're going to show you how to assemble our Model 50 5 inch mini planer boards. What you're going to need is a little knife here, and we're, or scissors, whatever you want to, and we're going to cut open the plastic clamshell. Just a little history on Yellowbird. We, uh, two gentlemen by the name of uh, Ken Stagemeyer and Captain Eddie Vasilis came up with a side surface pointer board back in the 1970s in Sheboygan, Wisconsin. So they are the two gentlemen that deserve credit uh, for producing this product. So now that your package is open, we're going to take out the blister card and on the back of it is going to show you some applications that you can utilize. And it's got some instructions on what on how to utilize the board as well. So um, what you're going to get in the package is you're going to get a wrench and you're going to get a little Allen wrench as well. So what you're going to do, the, the board is going to be to the side. So what you're going to do is turn this a little bit and then take your wrench and there's a little bolt here on the bottom and you're going to undo that a little bit get it nice and loose and there's a little groove here and I wish I could show you that but there's a little groove on the back of the front release that fits into the groove on the plastic part on the little 50 here so you have to be careful you got to lift it up and then you have to uh, fit it in there into the slot and then what you're going to do is you're going to take the screw and I use a uh, um, a Phillips screwdriver as well and I just tighten it up and I'll take the wrench and put it on the little screw here and then I'll take a Phillips screwdriver and on the back top side or the front top side I just turn it to where it's nice and secure we don't want that front release going back and forth side by side because it does affect uh, the running ability of this product so this is adjustable uh, front pinch pad. So depending on your conditions, you're just going to take your Phillips screwdriver and tighten it down and that would be nice and secure in your line. Uh, depending on what water conditions and what baits you're using, uh, you can have it loose and this can pop off as well. So you have a couple different ways to do this. But we have a very unique uh, ball bearing rear release system. And this is what the Allen wrench is for. There's a little Allen screw there. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna loosen this up a little bit and you're gonna take your line and snap it in between the two. And then you're gonna tighten it up so it's nice and secure, it's not gonna come out of there. All right, so that line's gonna be in there. And then you're gonna put your line in your front release you can tighten the screw or keep it loose depending on what the conditions are and what you're utilizing it for. And then you're going to just pop this in the water and it's going to take off anywhere you want to. We recommend it you use nothing more than a two ounce uh, bait. Um, and this has been great for crappie fishing, kayak fishing, riverbank fishing. And we're getting a lot of walleye guys using these uh, in four to six feet of water when they're all out there uh, using a little flick of shads or um, going in for um, uh, feeding time. So that's what these little boards are for. Um, more and more people are trying to utilize them. We even get some musky guys using these on the kayaks out on the lakes as well. Um, this does get taken out, uh, but this is something great that has uh, been utilized a lot of times uh, versus the bigger boards uh, because this creates uh, very, very little sound and uh, just floats right through the water. So this is a little Model 50. Um, what we do too is we mark our boards green for starboard and red for port. Just so you know which side of the boat or which side of the riverbank that you're going to be fishing with. This is our 5 inch board. Give us a call at 815-469-9686. Got any questions or reach out to us at Yellowbird Fishing or yellowbirdproducts.com and ask any questions you want to or give us a call and uh, check out our website. Thank you.